How would you feel about buying pot at Pearson or maybe coming to the casino? The GTAA, which operates Pearson Airport, is looking at new and creative ways to bring in more money. How about you, Kyle? You're hiding out here. Would you go to a cannabis store as one of the options being looked at or go to a casino here? Uh, no, I, I don't think that that's uh, something I would come to the airport to, uh, to do. I'm just looking to, to go to my flight and not gamble or get some pot. You could get high before you get high. Uh, no, not for me personally, but uh, yeah, I don't think that that's the most appropriate uh, decision that the government should be focusing on right now. But uh, I guess that's the decision they're making. Well, the GTAA has to be creative because it lost more than $700 million during the first two years of the pandemic. So it needs something to bring in more money. They've already jacked up airline and passenger fees, so they can't keep doing that. They need to come up with other ways to make revenues soar. At Pearson Airport, Carl Hansky, City News.